Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm down. Hello everybody, it's Philly Cuts with a beer review. And what do I have here today? I'm not going to pronounce it right, I know it. It's dark here, you can't even read it. But it's Weinhestefan. I think, I think that's how you say it. Weinhestefaner? Weinhestefan Hefweiss beer. This is a beer from Bavaria. This is what's known as the Grand Daddy, the Mac Daddy of all German Hefeweisses. To tell you why I say that, I don't know if you can read it. You may just have to take my word for it. This stuff's been brewed since 1040. 1040! Yeah, 1040. 104? Almost a thousand years, people. Look at this. For the cap collectors. And we got a nice, sweet, better look at the German coat of arms. This is brewed in accordance with the German purity law of 1516. All right? So these guys were actually brewing this beer almost 500 years before the German purity law. I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, we're going to have to find out. So let's open this up. Got some nice billowage coming out of there. I'm ready. And actually, before I pour out the rest, see that? You see that coating there? You see that yeast? That's the good stuff. It's not bad if your beer has that stuff when it's a Hefeweiss. Not bad at all. Let me pour this out till about two thirds is poured. And then we're actually going to stir up and agitate the rest of the yeast because you definitely want that stuff to come out. All right. See how nice and foamy and thick it is. Oh, yeah. And this is a big, big glass, too. A nice, healthy, healthy head. That's an explosion of carbonation. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Look at this. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. You may not be able to tell because it is, like, nebulous. And maybe hard to see, but look at that. It's actually pushing the head out of the glass. Wow. And that is like true, true German Hefeweiss smell. I mean, you're getting like pureed banana, clove. I'm getting some lemon. Like this is amazing stuff. This is like true, true Hefeweiss stuff. And it's still aggressively carbonated. It's probably one of the most aggressively carbonated beers I've ever seen. And that's even with comparing this to... Famous Budweiser and Coors Light Macro Lager. All right, let's get a taste. Mm. Wow. Very, 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 very light-bodied. Now, if this was still the summer, dead of summer, I'm talking 85, 90 degree weather, this is the kind of beer you want to go with. It is so light-bodied, still retaining the head and the smell big time. That is a really, really good beer. Look at the complexity even of the shading of this beer. Like you're just getting all kinds of hues of orange and straw and gold, honey. So smooth on the way down. You're getting a little bit of bitterness in the back of the palate and the back of the tongue. But it is smooth on the front. Pretty, pretty smooth on the back. It really just glides down your throat. This is a great beer to give to a friend who may not know about German Heffies, who may not even know much about beer. This could be a beer that could really introduce someone into exploring and drinking beer. This is just good stuff, man, and I really am enjoying this big time. I'm going to give this beer an A. That's right. The Germans know Heffies. You can't deny it. Check it out. I highly recommend it. Give it to your friends. Look at that. It's still, ordinarily, I would be very upset and confused about this level of carbonation, but it doesn't, like, rough up your throat like a lot of the American, you know, macro lagers. I'm not sure why that is. The Germans, they perfect stuff. Still getting that big-time clove. Also getting, like, a floral smell. It's almost like pollen way for it to retain the head huh not really a lot of lacing but lots of head retention all right go check this out man this is a world-class beer 
Do it up, brother. All right, this has been Philly Cuts. Peace.